to do, ladies and gentlemen. Do me a huge favor, man. Hit that like in the comments below, man. Put Grand Champion El Toro. This right here is a, is a Red Bull daughter bred to a BSBK South Bully. She's a lilac female. Uh, this girl right here is eight months on the 27th of February. She's super tiny, super compact. She is beautiful. She is 2K. If you're interested in getting your ears cropped, it's an extra 300. She'll go here soon, whether this month or the next. She's a little bit more expensive, but she's well priced. Um, what else? What else? I'll, I'll definitely stay tuned Sunday. I'll be going live. I'm not sure at what time. I'm not sure. I might go early around 1 or 2 or later in the day around 5 or 6. Who knows? Most likely earlier, though, uh, just because the wife comes back from work later on. So, uh, she is available. Um also a topic man I'm, I'm gonna touch on a little bit more i'm gonna name a video after the topic man i've been having a lot of people man hit me up asking me why i have so many dogs and uh you know i i i get it um but the, the reason i have so many dogs is man when i first got in the game a decade ago uh, I'm going to say a decade because I'm hitting a decade in March. May, possibly May, February. I'm not sure. It's been so long ago. So I'm just saying a decade. So from here on out, man, I'm saying a decade. Um, A decade ago, I bought five breeding females and traveled all over the states to breed to big name dogs like Louis V, Champ Lickety Luciano, Grand Champion El Toro, Grand Champion Chomper, Grand Champion Futuristic, you know, Ritz. A lot of people were thinking I was lying and all kinds of just craziness, man. And it was like, uh, nah. But um, I wanted to create my own bloodline. That was that was my that was my first goal. My first goal was to create my own bloodline, which I did, I believe, in 2020, if I'm not mistaken. Um, a lot of people debate that some people say fourth generation, fifth generation, some say sixth generation. But at this point, man, I'm past sixth generation, so it don't even matter. You know what I mean? Um, so people had to have different debates on that but me, me personally man once you got fourth generation of your own blood your own crosses you know you got your own pedigree you got you got your own bloodline so i wanted to create my own bloodline which oh i forgot i used spartacus too this boy's daddy um i created my own bloodline and that was like i said that was my main goal you know but different people have different goals some people get in the game they want to start hitting the show ring right away um, which I don't blame you. I mean, I, I definitely went to the show ring, not showing, but to go see the dogs in person to see exactly what I wanted to breed because I wanted to breed pockets and standards. And after going to the dog show, I was like, nah, man, I like pockets. I want to breed nothing but pockets. Look at Mr. 4-5. This dude is a beast. Freaking monster, bro. Monster. Inbred champ Lucky Luciano. You can't even, you don't even see that blood no more. It's, it's, it's gone. She got Grand Champion Shamrock locked to the public. Champ Lucky Luciano talked to Alex uh, about a month ago. Locked to the public. Been locked to the public. Um, I got a couple other Champ Lucky Luciano sons that I'm using that I got locked in from years ago. Look at this beast of a female. Um, uh, so that that was the main reason was start my own bloodline. Like I said, I already got there. Started my own bloodline. Uh, my next goal is here in the next two to three years, I want to start hitting the show ring. Look at this monster. Look at this monster. Um, start hitting the show ring and start hitting it tough. I'm talking about I want to go to one show a month. I want to hit all the big shows. I don't want to. I'll go to local shows: to Kentucky, Tennessee, Indiana. You know, because they're they're Indiana is an hour away. Uh, Tennessee is an hour and a half away. You know, I'm like right in the middle. I'm making a video, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hit those local shows and. Uh, you know, just support, you know what I'm saying, Get you know, let people see what I got, see what people got around here, network, you know, do some business, you know, uh, improve the blood over here in Kentucky, because um, I definitely got one of the top five hardest kennels in Kentucky for sure, um, I'm not rocking off of one stud, you know, one female, you know, which I don't like people to do that, that's cool, but you just, just talk to enough breeders, and you'll hear the horror story, I just talked to a dude from Gary, Indiana, uh, he had a, a stud he produced was insane. Dude went sterile in two years. He told me when he went sterile because of the uh, medication that the vet put him on. I've heard other stories. You know, there's a penile issue that the, the dog's uh, uh, penis explodes. There's just so many crazy things going on, man. You know, with the breed, dude, that it's, it, 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 you know, you can come in hard and just fizzle out. 
as quick as you came. Um, so to, to say I've been here a decade, that's 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 enough said right there in itself. But I, I have currently uh, six studs. Um, this blue tri male, I'm about to start hit, putting him on vitamins because he is he'll be eight months here uh, in February as well. Um, so I bred Guap when he was eight months old and got I think twelve or thirteen puppies off a of Savage right here. So, you know, uh, it's, it's, I'm, I'm taking him to Marigold, so I get nothing but blue and lilac tries. So I'm hoping Marigold lasts a little bit longer. You know, I hope Marigold comes in heat last, you know, April, because that'll give him, he'll be eight, nine, he'll be ten months old, perfect. You know, if she, if she comes in here in March, that's cool too, he'll be around nine months, so I'm fine with that as well. But that's going to be a breeding that's insane. Um... But, uh, so yeah, so my next goal, like I said, is to hit the show ring here in the next two or three years. Of course, I'll be showing my own blood, my own dog, um, and I'll be going to big shows. I'll be going to, like, Los Angeles, Las Vegas, you know, Houston, Dallas, um, you know, New York City, Atlanta. Like, I'm talking about these big shows, you know what I'm saying? So, been been working on this for a decade. I'm, I'm not there just yet, but I have a huge feeling I'll be there in the next two to three years. Here towards the end of this year, I'm going to be using all the studs I locked in, starting from late this year to early to early next year. I plan on knocking out all the, the 12 studs I have locked in and being done with it. And then after that, I'll probably use one stud out my yard a year. I'll probably use some of the biggest names out there, you know, got, got to go to some of that muscle tone blood, you know etc etc so appreciate y'all making it this far man if y'all made it this far man do me a huge favor hit that like and in the comments below man put bloodline let me know y'all made it that far appreciate y'all